All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about transform plane. Transform plane is the magic that allows us to program conversationally in, and make five-sided programming so easy. So as we work our way around a part, whether working on the front, the right, the back, whatever, we need a way to handle those rotations so we can get the tool perpendicular to each side of the part. And we do that with transform plane. So <clears throat> in this example, we're gonna look at a six inch by six inch by six inch cube. The top center is going to be our part setup or our work offset, that's where zero is gonna be. And we're gonna do some work on the right side of the part. Well, first of all, doing any work on the right side of the part while we are referencing the top center doesn't make any sense. So we need to do a couple things. First of all, we need to move the origin point. We need to move it somewhere on the right side of the part that makes sense based on our dimensions on our print. Then we need to rotate the work plane so that tool is gonna to be perpendicular to whatever side of the part we're working on. And then we can go ahead and program whatever three axis features we need referencing that new origin point with the rotation angle, and we'll have all that done on the right side. When we're finished, we'll cancel that, which will revert us back to the top center of the part. So let's see what that looks like. Transform plane is a conversational block that's gonna allow us to do both things that we need to do. Number one, it's gonna allow us to do the move the origin point, and then it's gonna allow us to rotate the um, tool into into position so it's perpendicular to the work plane. Now in the bottom left corner, you'll notice a G-code line that's gonna follow along with this. You'll see that in G-code, it works identical, it works the exact same way. It's just, we are call it G68.2, which is a transform plane, and then the XYZ, ABC rotations will work just like it, the conversational. But we're gonna focus on conversational here. So inside the red square, that's where we're gonna put our values for the origin point. The way that works is I'm gonna move the zero from location number one, the top center of the part, down to location two. That's how I'm gonna move the origin point to do work on the right side. So I basically just put in values which are measured distances from one to two along each axis. So we're gonna move positive three inches in the X. We're gonna move negative three inches in Y and we're gonna drop down the full six inches in Z. Now that has taken our origin point and literally moved it down to that bottom corner of the part where it needs to be. Now we're gonna use the rotation angles um, fields to rotate the tool or the work plane into position so the Z axis or that tool axis will be perpendicular to the right side. In our case, we're just simply gonna do a rotation around the Y axis to the positive side of 90 degrees. Now, look down here at the Cartesian coordinate system. So right now, after we've done the origin point, everything is still pointed in the original direction. X is along the machine, X positive, Z is still up and down this way and Y. But as soon as I rotate this work plane using the rotation angles in the transform plane, now our X is pointing down our Z is perpendicular to the right side, and Y remains unchanged. The reason this is important is because now all of our X positive and negatives will be in reference to this new position. So if I wanted to do any work here in the center of this right side of the part, I'm gonna to have to have an X negative value and then a Y positive would get me there. So it's very important that you understand how that rotation happens, how that Cartesian coordinate system would rotate with the rotation angles, so your X, Y, Z, those type of things are all um, correct values when you put them in. You'll see it in the graphics if it's wrong, and usually it's because you put in a positive or a negative when you should have had the other. But once we've done this, the tool axis will now be perpendicular to the right side of the part. The X, Y, Z is going to be that bottom corner we program whatever three axis features we need to at this point. And then when we're done, we're gonna end the transform plane with either a transform plane end conversational block or a G69. And that's going to put the original, or put us back to the original zero point or the original origin point for the program. 
then we would just keep doing this over and over and over again until we've reached all features on all sides of the part and we have everything completed. Um, one thing we normally would do is we would program, we'd get tool one on the spindle, for example, and we would program all the features around the part with tool one, then go in and do tool two, tool three, and so on. So we may do multiple transform planes to the same side, to the same origin point, just because we have different features using different tools. And that's one way to handle uh, tool changes. The other would be to use tool change optimization, which does work, but that's an option that not everyone has. So those are kind of the basics of transform plane, um, how we move the origin point, we rotate the work plane. Again, make sure you pay attention to the direction of the new oriented work plane, which is X positive, negative, and so on. And then kind of think about your tool changes as you're programming to help reduce some of the, um, the time in the cycle time from it's being created by tool changes.